Every Friday, we show you the positive stories in eastern Idaho of the people and the places that we all appreciate. We call it the bright side, and tonight we start with a kind act literally coming out of the woodwork. David Gardner made this handcrafted flag and presented it to the chief deputy with the Bingham County Sheriff's Office. The plaque has the U.S. flag, the police blue line, then the law enforcement organization and the officer's name. Gardner has been making several of these and giving them to various local law enforcement officers to show his appreciation for them and the work they do. An Idaho State University pharmacy student, Kristen Morse, has been selected for an internship program with John Hopkins. There's only about 20 spots available for the prestigious internship. Morse applied and got an interview, which many applicants don't even get. Morse will be working in three outpatient pharmacy areas for the 10-week internship this summer. She'll attend meetings, shadow pharmacists, complete a project related to her area, and apply what she's learned to ISU at Real World Experience. When she graduates, she plans to be an oncology pharmacist. A biologist in Idaho Falls is getting national recognition. Ryan Beatty, a fisheries biologist for the Upper Snake Field Office, received the Jim Yoakum Emerging Professional Award. The award recognizes the accomplishment of early to mid-career BLM wildlife or fisheries biologists who've made notable contributions to their profession. Beatty has helped solve bull trout issues in the Little Lost Valley. He's also helped the field office ramp up certain technologies like aquatic monitoring. He also works with local youth to teach them fisheries science. And if you have an idea for the Bright Side, send us an email. Newsroom at kpvi.com. We're interested in your positive stories about the people and the places of eastern Idaho.